This video will help you change the brake pads on your Magura MT Next disc brake. You can find detailed information about the tools you will need for this procedure in the video description. Magura offers three different pad mixtures for different requirements, comfort, performance, and race brake pads. The design of the brake pads must be selected to match the two-piston or four-piston calipers. You'll find all the information you need about choosing the right brake pads at magura.com customize. You can replace the brake pads in almost all Magura disc brakes without dismantling the brake caliper. Please refer to the Magura manual. First, push the brake pads back using the Magura transport device. This makes it easier to remove them. Then, use a Torx T25 tool to remove the pad retaining screw. This step is not necessary for the 9.C and 9.P brake pads. Now take the brake pads out of the brake caliper. Mount the new brake pads in reverse order. Make sure to insert the pads the right way round with the carrier plate to the piston. Thanks to the magnet exchange technology, the pads are held in position magnetically. There's no need for a retaining clip. Insert the pads and mount them using the pad retaining screw. Ensure a maximum tightening torque of 2.5 Newton meters. Before your first real trip, you must run the pads in with 30 full brake applications at 30 kilometers per hour on the flat. This will ensure durability and the proper functioning of the brake pads. Running in the brake pads properly is an absolute must to ensure that the friction elements function perfectly together. This will also prevent the early glazing of the pads. You'll find more information in the service section at magura.com or your local Magura dealer's shop. If you have very specific questions, we are also available for chats in our social media channels.